Okay, we're going to see how to determine the form of a particular solution to this differential equation. And this is how I like to do it. So first of all, just ignore this for now. Okay, look at the right hand side. We have a polynomial multiplying by sine of 3t, right? So we know we can do this by the method of co um, undetermined coefficient. And once again, just ignore this for now. If you didn't have this, well, this is something else or whatever. Here is the form for the yp. And p stands for particular. All right, now. You see, we have sine of 3t, but for the particular right here, we must have sine of 3t and cosine of 3t together. And let me just put this down for now, okay? Sine of 3t, and then let me just leave some space. Let me say it's right here, cosine of 3t, all right? We must have both of them together. If I didn't have that, if I didn't have the 4t to a third power, I would just put down a sine 3t plus b cosine 3t. But I do have the 4 t to a third power, right? This is a third degree polynomial. So what I have to do is I will have to generate uh, <laughs> a general third degree polynomial right here. And because they are multiplying, I will have to multiply this right here. I will also have to put down another one like this for the cosine as well. Anyways, in the back of the book, they use a4, A3, whatever, whatever. But let me just use A, B, C, D, okay? And also, um, you see, I didn't need to put down another A in front of the sign because this, whatever, the constant multiple of the sign, right? That can be distributed into this here. That's why I don't have to have another constant in front of the sign. Anyways, 4t to a third power, third power, right? So I begin with the third power, and I'm just going to put down a t to a third power and then just keep going down. Be sure you have all the powers from third power to no power. And right here plus b t square and then plus c t and plus d like this, okay? And right here we pretty much do the same thing. And I end up with d right here, so I put down e and then t to the third power and then f t to the second power plus g t and then plus h and no power, all right? All right, so this is pretty nice, and I know, I guess we'll turn, let's go ahead and add them up. However, yes, this could be the answer, but we have to make sure that yp is linearly independent than yh. Wait, I haven't found out the yh yet, right? So that's my job right now, I have to show you guys what the yh is. And I'll do this in the classic color way, black and red, of course. So I have to check for yh. Uh, let me just say for y double prime plus 9y equal to 0 and I'll change this to r square plus 9 equals to 0 well r square is equal to negative 9 that means r is equal to plus minus 3i complex root huh and you know yh is going to be well we don't have any real part right here so it's 0 so that means we don't have any e to the whatever power because e to the zeroth power times t is just one. So right here we just have cosine three t and sine three t. So y h is going to be cosine three t and then sine three t and then we put on c one c two. This is y h. Here's the trouble. Cosine three t sine three t. <laughs> cosine three t sine three t. Right. So unfortunately they match. But as I said, uh, this is not bad. This is just an easy fix. As long as you remember to check that, okay? This is how you fix. You see, at the end right here, this is d sine 3t. That will you know, kind of match with this, right? Well, the fix is that I'm just going to multiply this by t. Likewise, we also need to multiply this by t. And that will do the work. And... Uh, that's pretty much it. You want to, if you want to leave the answer, I guess it's okay, but I think I will just write it down all together by distributing the t into the parentheses. So anyways, you will see this is a t to the fourth power and then plus b t to the third power plus c t squared plus d t, okay? And then you multiply by sine of 3t. And then you add it with t times all this, which is parentheses e t to the fourth power plus f t to the third power plus g t squared plus t times h which is h t 
and then you multiply by cosine vt. This is the form that we are looking for. And if you want to make me solve for a to h, I will hate you. So let's not do that. Then that's it.